Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Labronia. I want to say Labironia. It's called Labironia. It's part of my Steam cleaning series. I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them after just a wee bit of playtime. Now, I don't quite know what this game is. I picked these games out at random, but we're going to find out together and jump in. Now, based on the way this game is launching, uh, I think this is a Game Maker game, which is fine. I have nothing against them. Uh, they do have common tropes that are an issue. Would you like to watch the intro? Oh god, I guess. I really don't want to. One of the areas these games struggle with a lot is combat doesn't have enough options to make it interesting in the beginning, and they lay on the plot uh, very deep and thick before they let you actually learn about any of the characters or why you should care. So we've got what looks like a meteor impact here. Got a dragon ball in the center, maybe not. All right. Long ago, in the belligerent realm of Lebronia, ruled by the four elemental gods, a vision gave birth to an ominous magical item, the Pendant of Lebronia, which fell into the hands of gods. With its power, the Lebron labyrinths hmm, were created covering the entire world. In a state of confusion, the warring nations soon laid down their arms, but the Council of Wizards in Mysteria Tower decided to rebel against the New Order. The situation culminated in a war between the Wizards and Gods. However, against the overwhelming might of their adversary, the Wizards soon succumbed. Afterwards, strange and powerful monsters appeared, spreading destruction around them. The greatest kingdoms in the world fell, and the nations got separated from each other. About the entire intro. And... Well, I already like the fact that it gives me sparkles on things I can investigate. The world has gone restless. What are, the power of, what are those powerful monsters, and can we do anything against them? What about the labyrinths? I think it's time to start searching for answers. I have to stop pondering this and play my part. I can at least fight the enemy with my magic and skills. I'm going to grab my old sword and see if I can do anything about the situation. Book. Ibis. Book. Under gold from the urn. Alright. Uh, hops one. Sword of Ibis! Going the interaction points is nice. Travel in the world, we cover four elements crystals. Okay, just just hop to it. Go find the four crystals. Follow your intuition. What does that mean? That means follow the road? Meldor Village. Known for its poverty and somewhat friendly folk. All right, chickens talk. Derek, hi there. I heard you're going to start traveling. Did you? I I just heard it. If you have any questions before you go, bring it to me. Okay. Come back if you get confused. The well reminds me of the stories about the Fountain of Fortune. Have you heard it about it? They say you can hear the gods through it. Ho, ho, ho. Alright, I have a hundred dollar dues. Ugh. So one of my biggest complaints about the uh, Game Maker games, or RPG Maker games, I should say, is that they really give you loads of poisoning creatures right off the bat. Like, first encounters you get poison, and I get it that it's a mechanic, but it seems like it's just so heavily laid in that it just bums me the heck out. Alright, that would be three armor. Well, three plus three 
This seems like the right choice. Alright. Alright, no sparklies there, so just want to double check. Hidden passages away in Fertel. Alright, I can go into the basement of this inn. Each book only has two pages! Nothing there. Oh, uh, I should talk. Uh, I mean, I should follow my instincts, and my instincts is not to talk to town folk. Maybe those are the wrong instincts? I mean, if I was given a quest in the world to do something, I don't know if I would just talk to random strangers, I would just go do the quest. So, the Sword of Ibis is pretty bad. The $35 Cook's Act is better by two. I am a battle mage, according to that, so that's my class. Alright, not a lot going on in Hendor. My instincts tell me to go to the beach. Oh wait, no, I have to... A little maze, a little puzzle. Well, that's not really an upgrade. It's one defense, but I lose. I'm not going to use magic. Although maybe this game does focus on magic attacks, which most games don't, so I could be um, making a poor assumption early on. Alright, there's a secret passage in Fredell. I'm going to get poisoned. First attack, poison. Human, strange elf. What brings you to Ferdell? People get lost here. You want to re reach in the forest? I'm afraid the deep beneath the grotto has been fed by monsters. There should be a shortcut through the worst part. Somewhere, though. Unless you're very powerful, you should try to find it. Unless you're very powerful, you should try to find it. I'm serious. You'll regret it if you enter the deeper grotto unprepared. Please don't rush into your death before thinking. Well, does that. Okay, well, my instinct tells me now I shouldn't go there. Maybe I'll follow the road up here. Broden's Malice. That's an interesting name for an enemy. I'm not level two! Are these static place monsters? Okay. Aura. Heal. I mean, we could try it. Doesn't seem much better. So it's called AP. Yeah, the normal attacks don't seem to feel the same. Called AP. Okay, so action points, not magic points. That's 
next person. Hello. Old man. No here the land of water rains me used to be, but I feel like kind of quenched. I feel kind of quenched every time I'm in the hood. Oh, you're here. It seems Aries, is it? You have a long way for you. Here, my boy. I can't offer much help at the moment, but we'll meet again later. Here, I think if you manage to stay alive, that is. Ba -ha -ha. How do you know me? I are Wells Big Company. You see, I have some uh, friends in Eldar. Everybody knows you in Eldar, right? Pretty much. That doesn't explain the rest of your sentence, though. It's a dangerous world we're living. Come back when you're done. When you're done in. There. Where you're heading. I might be able to use your trip. I might as well do that. Okay. Voices? Did you say something? See. What is this? Okay. Octos. Okay. Oh. Well, that's what's there. So far my instincts have not told me much for what to do. Once again, we're stuck with one of the classic RPG issues where I'm just pressing X, or whatever go button is, and we're not making any choices, the kind of enemy doesn't matter, the rewards are mi minimal at best. I just fill in time. I'll get poisoned here. Oh, I didn't? Yeah, alright. Three. I haven't learned any new skills yet. Got a couple heals. If I can rest here. Uh, Draco Farm. Oh, there's a save point. Which is odd, because you can just save on the overworld map? Book. Right, so this chest does not have an interaction note on it, but you can. All right, so that disproves the earliest, the earlier theory that you can not miss things that interaction notes. Oh, we should put the bed see if it lets us rest. Excuse me, dog. Oh, okay. No uh, golden locks in their bed there. Greetings, Traveler. What brings you to the world that buys some Drachma? Sure. Watch your step. Orcs on the move. Alright. Ice Mountains. West is Ruins. Alright, we got a little thing here. Twenty-five gold. I do find that gold chests are just so blase. It's the last thing you want to find in a chest in 99% of cases. Water is too deep, can't hold my weight. Alright, well. My instincts have proved me wrong here, and this is not where I'm supposed to go. The uh, art style seems inconsistent. I 
die here. Game over, returning to the source. Alright, maybe my instincts were wrong. Maybe I sh Well, there's a t let's try to go to the tent. Let's see if we can sneak over there. Okay. A salmon, one item. Love the sea, got a water. Guarded cave. Okay, can I can I rest here? Well, I guess I can't go this way. Things just won't die. Alright, well, I'm clearly not strong enough to go this way. Let's go back. Uh, my instincts are failing me. This game is not telling me where to go. And uh, I'm getting punished for not knowing where to go. Based on the difficulty curve. The way to go is to grind. Uh, game and I are going to have some trouble. Get across the northern bridge. Freezing horn. Maybe. Major increase in rewards for that. Oh, made it across. A pub. A cold shoulder. You know, that's not a bad name for a pub. Beer and whiskey. Can I not rest here? Oh, Ander Trope, let's play this piano. The lucky one. Travel north. Play the rocks. Party never ends. Busy. Drunken Mystic. Dancer. Over the year. Check the urn. So I'm almost out of almost out of juice here. Um not a lot of places to rest. We better cross back against the bridge, maybe? I'm gonna take everything I got. Fight, 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 fight.
Alright, I'm dry. Better get to town. Uh, status. Does that tell me? No. that there. I don't think we're going to make it by it. Just one of these little things. Level four. I definitely gained some stats. We'll upgrade to the best sword possible. Alright, that increased my attack by over a third. Hopefully that'll help. Inn's decently priced. I mean, I wish I could just walk home. I wish I'd done that. Alright. Alright, so the Rich Man Crown is an upgrade. Battle Mage Archer. So I might as well save up another... Well, hold on, let's sell... Buy the Shane Hall. Alright, and equip that. So another... Six, so a fifth... Uh, armor? I mean, for all intents and purposes, that could be a lot. It's hard to tell, really, at this point. Uh, I guess I'll go through the store, the, the forest, like... This game really isn't telling me much of what I should be doing. Oh, new sword and level makes me uh, one-shot these, that's at least nice. The hard corners uh, on some of these areas are, are kind of a bummer. Okay, those are bats on the map. Ow. What? They hit really hard. Where am I supposed to go? The orc kills me and the elves kill me. I don't think this game wants you to play it. I've still not received another party member or any actions or abilities. Let's try this one. 
And maybe there's maybe there's not any random encounters, and the goal here is to just dodge all the bat archers. That's a possibility. And a maze is the first thing. Okay, so we, we did loot. Alright, so I want to avoid the bat. Bats plural. I hear something. In ancient times, Fertile used to have visited from all the world. After Zim will come and leash the labyrinths, the forest lost the field. No one likes to get lost, unfortunately it's kind of sad. Let me describe the monument. Follow the trail of craftsmen. The trail of craftsmen? Okay. Let's chest first. A weird person lives in a hole deep in, in deep grotto. If you want to see her, turn left after entering the area. Okay. Little stat boost. Snuck by there. Friend little bunny. Hi, bunny. Alright. Nothing. Alright, follow the trail of craftsmen. Nothing up there. Ah! Ranger, hmm. Human here and fertile. I'm shocked. Perhaps you just turn around and leave the elves alone. Besides, you're not able to fight the werewolves in the deep grotto. They are high immortal. Nigh immortal. I would suggest trying to find another way to pass to get past them. Too bad, elf boy. Dragon statue? Arr. The Deep Grotto. Steel first. Loose fish. Which? Hello, Mister. Are monster causing trouble? Yes. Small favor. Uh, mushroom growing stuff. Okay. What is that sound effect? Oh. Can't escape. Alright, this has been Labronia. Um, overall this game is just not balanced well. Combat is, for at least the first four or five levels, just hit and fight. Like, the magic ability didn't seem to him anymore. Uh, and that's just isn't interesting at this point. Um, the game opens up opens up really early on in places you can go, but most of them are just way overpowered and just stomp you, and that's not super exciting either. Um, yeah, uh, one of those things where the playtesting seems to be missing in this game, and they may have played in individual chunks or little spots or with powered up characters, but um, the expectations of what the player needs to do to actually get the plot and story rolling seems far too high for the uh, return on investment in, in a gameplay. And, there you go. Labronia. Cheers.